Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to do a comparison video of Spain and Greece and which is the best for you type video. So let's jump right into it. Now, Spain is quicker to get to than Greece. There's shorter flight times. Um, it depends again whereabouts in Spain or Greece you go to for how long the flight times are usually for Spain it depends which part of Spain if you're go uh, going to the mainland it is usually between say two and two and three quarters to three hours long flight times if you go into the Balearics then it's two and a quarter to two and three quarters it depends whereabouts in the UK you're going from for Greece it is between say three to three and three quarter hours to say Corfu it depends again what airport you're flying from in the UK um, if you're going further afield like roads or costs then it can be four out at four to say four and a half hours flight time so if however you're going to the canary islands in spain then it is usually between four or four and a half hours so it really depends on what part of the country you're going to and whether you're going to the mainland um, or wh whether you're going to the islands islands you should take longer than the mainland or mainlands um, but mainlands both Spain and Greece can, uh, can be a lot more busier than what islands are um, in general as for weather wise You can basically get decent weather out of season at both countries and de uh, decent weather in season as well. But sometimes out of season you can get rain, particularly in northern Spain. Um, and the Costa Brava region of Spain um, or sometimes the Balearic Islands as well you can get some, some rain out of season um, Greece weather wise is generally hotter than what Spain is Greece it can sometimes in the summer 
in high season July August time can be sometimes in Corfu, Sakinfos and Crete where I've been to is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or in the 90s to the 100s that's in high season in low se season in October when I went to Rhodes it wasn't obviously at hot as hot it was still in the 80s which is warm or quite hot but not as hot as what it is um, in July and August time Spain however um, it can it, it can rain um, out of season um, again in season it um, again really depends on what part of Spain you, you go to um, in Calella um, we had rain for the first couple of days and then it was t uh, 25 to 30 celsius then after that so um we did have a few days of rain but after that for the rest of the holiday um it was fine um so um yes in the summertime it's usually in the mid 80s Spain um, Canary Islands but virtually the same but with the Canary Islands you do get that breeze um, it, can, it can get hot again especially in the summertime in the Canary Islands uh, between say 85 and 90 but you do get that breeze and you don't have the humidity uh, what you get um, say in other parts of Spain and Greece and also in America um, Florida um, so uh, that's uh, again one thing uh, to bear in mind um, as for car hire car hire in Greece is more expensive than what it is in Spain and islands are more expensive than the mainland really um, as for attractions there's lots to do it to do in Greece and the Greek islands as for Spain as well there's lots of places to visit on the mainland and the islands um, if you are traveling in the mainland it is a lot busier on the roads than what it is on the island so and um, that's another thing um, to, to take into consideration as for food um, basically food is more expensive on the islands because it needs to be imported to the islands and it's cheaper on the mainland um, again eating out is more expensive also on islands than what it is on the mainland as well um, both Spain and Greece 
you um, will get um, if you do have a a tour package um, you will get your transfer to uh, to and from the hotel to the airport and um, that's on the way going and coming back and um, because it's a package deal but if you haven't booked a package deal and you booked your flight and your hotel separately then you have to make your own way from the ho uh, the airport to the hotel if you're tra uh, travelling by, uh, by air and a hotel package there are optional in both countries excursions that your accommodation if you have booked a package deal um, you can pay extra for if you want to and there's a range of trips um, including say pub crawls um, um, cr uh, different cruises um, say to a trip to say national parks um, which is in the countryside or trips to other nearby towns, cities and resorts um, so it's um, again it's up to you whether you want to spend the extra money and travel that way or whether you want to basically hire a car and go wherever you fancy with hiring a car you can go off the beaten track and you can explore say towns um, such as Garucha which is um, in Andalusia Spain which is not a tourist resort at all and it wasn't even on the map but we found it at the time so we, so we just wanted to explore it uh, stop and explore which was absolutely great um, but if you hire a car that does give you more freedom to do that um, and also if you hire a car then you're not restricted to come in when when you go and come back you can come go and come back whenever you want so um and um, again with spain if you want to do a self-drive holiday where where you drive down uh, go on a a boat from dover to calais and then drive all the way down to spain then you can it can do that as well or you can go by coach and do it that way um with greece um, again you can drive down to the mainland but and it'll it'll take you just a long time but you can do it if obviously you've got the amount of days spare um, then obviously you, uh, you can do it um, stopping at different points along the way if you choose to do it that way and stay overnight in a couple of hotels um, before you get to Greece um, you can do it that way um, but again it really depends 
on whether you want to stay overnight in the hotel um, going to Spain or not um, I once went on a coach trip where we didn't stay overnight we just carried on um, to, to San Felo which is in the Costa Brava Spain and we just went from Do well basically the Midlands to Dover to straight to San Felo Spain just making stops at service stations but not stopping on a hotel overnight um, that way obviously it's cheaper because obviously you're not paying for overnight hotel or any overnight accommodation um, so I mean it's up to you and you would get there quicker that way and um, if you wanted to do it that way and um, so then you would then have more time in your chosen resort if you did want to do it that way but again it is a lot of driving and you would need to make frequent stops for concentration obviously while, uh, while driving so um, I mean it's completely up to you there's also cruise is that explain well basically explore sorry Spain and Greece and other islands like a Mediterranean cruise um, there's also cruises that do say Spain and Portugal and there's also cruises that mainly say do Greece or cruises that do Greece and Turkey and that's again another way um, of exploring different places um, in a variety of countries say or if you wanted to do a Balearic cruise mainly concentrating on the Balearic Islands or say a Canary Island cruise mainly co uh, concentrating on the Canary Islands and um, there are different tour operators d uh, doing that as well um, so again it really depends what type of holiday you want to go on and um, also in Spain they do camping holidays so if you're into camping then you're able to go down and camp if, if you wish and um, I've not heard of any camping holidays in Greece but let me know if there is any camping holidays in Greece um but um there's also um so it's say um if you wanted to travel by train you could uh, you could also do it that way again try a train can be expensive um you are at um, risk as well with the the train and um, it of say um miss, missing your connecting train if they change platforms and it's a really fast changeover um 
for instance um, and it can be expensive as well um, train however is not so good also if you're carrying a lot of luggage um, around with you so train holidays are probably not the best um, unless you probably intend to go say backpacking or walking for instance and you're, you're basically camping out um, in your t a tent basically you, you could do it that way um, but um, well yes um, as for currency both con uh, countries uh, Greece and Spain are in the euro so your currency um, for UK watches and for abroad watches you would have to exchange your currency if it currently isn't euros to euros and um, you're probably the hotel or apartments where you're saying probably will exchange currency but you again may not get the best rate and you will probably be better either exchanging your currency back um, in the UK or you would probably be best to find a, a currency exchange point out there in in either Spain or Greece or wherever you're travelling to but um, you would probably be even better to wait until you get home to get a better exchange rate from the travel agent or bank for instance now as for entertainment it really depends on your accommodation and um, your resort um, some hotels and apartments holiday villages and suites um, have daytime and evening activities as as well as campsites in Spain others obviously are not that luxurious and don't offer that at those things and again it is better to read up on your accommodation before before you do your holiday so you can basically be the best prepared for your holiday instead of just getting to your accommodation and say if it is in the middle of nowhere um, having to say hire a taxi which taxis can be expensive in say Spain or Greece um, they, ca they can be expensive especially if you're going um, to a city um, or trying to find the nearest train station again it, ca it can be expensive um, if obviously you're traveling by car then you, uh, you would obviously need to then get a, a, get a map if you haven't already p purchased a map from somewhere to to get to wherever you want to go um, in the daytime or at night time so um, again there's pros and cons for, uh, for 
both countries it depends on yourself and which you prefer which you prefer and what you like to do on a holiday um whether you want to explore inland or whether you want to explore inland and out uh, and beach or uh, other beach resorts um or just whether you just like to um st stay around a pool area or beach it really depends but you can do that if uh, if the weather is fine obviously in both spain or greece so but that is if your accommodation does have a pool or or is near a beach but it really it varies really um as for airport delays um Spain and Greece can get very busy and especially in high season you could get delays to both places we've been delayed go going to bo at both places so um, it, unless you take a scheduled fl a flight say from for instance Heathrow and it's scheduled and then scheduled flights are su supposed to land and take off on time um, and there could also be flight cancellations as well um, you again both places whether it's spain or greece that you're going to so it's um again you can try and get your money back um with the tour operator um or the airline but it's it, it's again really all depends and um, i mean it is w worthwhile doing for in for instance but again it um dep it depends on the, the tour operator um and um it it it, re it it just really dep it depends um whether they offer you another time to go for instance um if it was the fact that they weren't offering you a, a money back and transferring you to another date um then um obviously it's up to you whether you wanted to go on that other date if you did then you would probably not get any money back from your holiday if you choose to go on that other date but if you just decided again and it was done last minute the offer the operator should give you a full refund if it was cancelled right that minute and you couldn't go on that other date or um for instance but it really would depend then whether you'd get the refund or whether you transferred to another date um so yes and um, as for scenery again it scenery is beautiful um in spain and greece and um, 
you can get some amazing sights in both countries and again it really depends really what at what sort of scenery you like to look at um, is which one you basically prefer yourself um, I personally think both countries are evenly matched um, in, term, in terms of scenery um, so yes um, as for accommodation both countries offer a, a wide range of accommodation choices and for me they both evenly match it really it depends on the accommodation itself it's whether it's for you or not um so yes thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video which is going to be spain versus italy so i'll see you tomorrow for the vlog spain versus italy thank you bye